everyone, and welcome back to Jack Up the Guy's funniest home videos, the internet's craziest place, the place where people laugh the most that they ever have in their entire lives. Because you know what we say over here? We have a slogan. It, no, it's not dead. It's time to laugh. I'm alive again. I'm a real boy. I'm not dead anymore. Well, the internet still thinks I'm dead, and if the internet says it, then you know it's true. You have to believe what the internet says. Take everything in the internet literally. If you don't, then what's it all about? The internet would never lie to me, would it? I went out into the street and everyone thought I was dead and some people came up to me and were like Wait a minute! Who are you? It's me! Jackal Boy! I'm back from the grave! I'm a zombie boy now! And what do zombie boys do more than anything except I'm not doing it this time, okay? You're gonna have to put some fucking work in for yourselves, okay? Laugh in your own time! I got fucking business to do! What did my elves do? Oh! They went out, they got drunk, and they came home with a hangover of brilliant videos for us to be able to react to. They gave us some new products. This first one is called... The Ball Buster. Oh god- <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> Fun for children! I thought he was just gonna stop there. I thought the dude doing the voiceover had a stroke and died in the middle of it. That's it, that's it! It's like, it's- it's fun for kids! But for adults, it's exciting. Strategic. No, it's not at all as easy as checkers. Other than the fact that you can move a piece on the board, that's all- the only similarities with checkers that it has. You can burst your opponent's... Balls. The babes are back! So this has to be made for... I mean, obviously they know what they're doing. It's called Ball Buster. And kids aren't gonna know that, they're gonna be like, Well, you're just busting my balls, Dad! That's the busting my balls! I got homework to do, let me win! Dad's like, Go fuck yourself, Wendy! It's time to bust those balls! But it reminds me of... Have any of you played Conkers? I don't know if... Not Conkers, the video game. But that game of Conkers where you, like, you get, a, like, a chestnut, and you drill a hole in it, and then you put a piece of twine in it, and then somebody holds out their Conker on the ball, on the string, and then you get it, and you go, whoop And you try and hit them. You know, you hit them and it just goes, ah! See, I was on the other side for that one. You're not gonna stay ahead of me. I am ahead of the game! You're a ball <laughs> <laughs> That is the best way that that commercial could have ended. You're a ball buster. You're fucking damn right I am. That really got my heart tickled. It really got my belly aching. It really got the jiggles going. It really got the... What did I say? Be prepared! Any eventuality could happen! The world could end at any moment. The world could end in the middle of watching this video. And if you're not ready to laugh... Go okay, good, you're keeping up with it. Yeah, laugh in your own time. Do it yourselves. Okay, let's just get this one out of the way, because I remember this. Have any of you had this commercial- 2001? Well, I guess, yeah, I was 11 by then. 2001 does not feel that long ago. 2001 feels like it was only, like, 10 years ago. Oh, Lord! That's a really long time ago by now. Fuck. Man, I'm old. I'm 29. My bones are dust. My ass doesn't even work anymore. I tried to sit down and I just fall over. Baby wee wee. Baby wee wee. No, you can't show that, kids! Am I allowed to show this on YouTube? I mean, it, it's on the Cartoon Network, apparently. But there's straight up... Just a little plastic penis coming out of a baby doll. And we all know what YouTube's new policy. You can't show kids in your videos or I'm gonna get all my comments disabled. That is some surrealist shit. That was it. That was the whole thing. I remember those things going around and I remember seeing that commercial. Even as a kid, back then, I was like, Mom, are the police gonna come and take you and Daddy away? And isn't it kind of fucked that Kids would want to play with this thing? Well, first off, it's saying, Mommy, Mommy, Wee Wee. That's sexist, okay? What about Dada, Wee Wee? What if, what if Daddy wants to take you to the party and look at your little tiny plastic penis and put you on the ground? This is a fucking weird video. I'm here in Consumer Reports Warehouse, where we store most of the products after we've tested them. You can see we have a lot of big stuff here to move around. So when we found out about the forearm forklift, we couldn't wait to check it out. Ah. Look at how well these lifting straps work for carrying furniture. Holy shit! You can pick items up by hand. Ah, yeah, don't fuck it up. 
He's bringing it up the thing. You just gave up and you threw it over the edge. Well, luckily for you, it's a mattress, so it's going to be fine. These adjustable straps carry items inches off the floor to avoid lifting high. Holy now, I am shit. here with John Jonas and Patrick Severin, two strong men. <laughs> two strong men. That is not the face of a guy who thinks he's strong. That's the face of a guy who's like, I just want to go home play Tetris 99 and get my sweet victory battle royale. I don't want to be here lifting the fucking forklift, forearm, what, what was it called? <laughs> Wait, what? Screw the forearm forklift! I want to know what these bad boys in the background are. Do you want to go snorkeling but have binoculars on your face at the same time? Snorkoculars! Let's see how they do. Alright, one, two, three. Oh, no! Nah, nah. No, JJ! That's the fucking complete wrong way of doing that! You're gonna break your back, man! Nah, nah. <laughs> Alright. Nah! Nah, that ain't it, Chief. Nah, I tried. I I tried. Didn't work. No, I was like, eh, didn't work. I almost broke my head. Next up, we gave them the forearm forklift to try out. Wait, are, are they going to be able to do it? Place your bets right now. Do you think that these guys are going to be able to A, lift the fridge, B, it's not going to work again, Chief, or C, magic on answer number four, their arms are actually going to fall off and both of them are going to be dead. Place your bets now! You've all placed your bets? Okay, let's see what happens. One, two, three. And we Holy the shit, it they well. lifted it! It's a lot easier, it was sturdier than I expected it to be. That's a man who was strong, but now a man who's even stronger. I did, I did not know that that was going to happen. I, that was absolutely crazy that that happened. I really thought that this guy's son was actually going to come in and say, Dad, come help me do my homework. Why have I made so many homework jokes with dads on this episode? Okay, working through something, all right? I have that fucking Baby Wee Wee song in my head. Baby Wee Wee, Baby Wee Wee, he needs to wee. We all got a wee baby wee wee one time or another. Keep it in your pants. Look at how well these lifting straps work for carrying furniture. Here's where the real challenge comes in. Okay. I am here with a big heavy stove. I am here in the Consumer Reports warehouse where I have two strong ladies who are going to lift this furnace. So these aren't actually just showing off the product. This isn't the infomercial for the product. These are people testing out the product to see if it's actually real. I bet they're all in cahoots. I bet that they're all together, working together in all of this to be like, how can we sell more? People aren't buying the forearm forklift. We need you to sell it for us. I want to say Sue? Lisa Lee Freeman, editor-in-chief of Consumer Reports Fuck Shop yeah, Lee. Magazine. And Leslie Ware, Consumer Reports editor-at-large. Wait, what were their names? Lisa Lee Freeman and Leslie Ware. Lisa Lee and Leslie. Those are fake names. There is no way that you have a Lisa Lee and a Leslie. Her name is Leslie Ware. You were like, we need somebody to lift hardware. We need a name. Leslie, do you got any name? Leslie, Leslie, where? Perfect. All right, assuming you guys have no superhero powers, we are gonna let you have a go at this. Uh, no. no. <laughs> I love how it just, cause you, you're just making noise. It's like, oh, do you think I'll be able to lift this? No, it's fucking useless. God damn it all. Now I broke my back. Then Consumer Reports tester Bernie Dietrich gave them the forearm <laughs> forklift and supervised to make sure they were using it properly. He gave them the 411 and the forearm forklift. The lady in the back room was like, this is, this is madness. What has science been able to do? Okay, place your bets now. What do you think is going to happen this time? Do you think, A, they're going to lift it? Pfft, stupid answer. B, uh, the whole thing is actually gonna fall apart and it's actually been made out of cardboard and it's fooling you or C This guy back here is actually gonna take off his shirt and then it's gonna turn into some sort of weird threesome Place your bets now. What do you think is going to happen? Okay, have you all put in your answers? Have you all texted A, B, or C to 1-800? Ah! What's gonna happen? No! Oh, my forearms feel like they're breaking. No, that's cut, cut, cut. That's not what's supposed to happen. Her forearms are going to break. That's not an, uh, intentional design. Lisa was struggling with the weight, so I took a shot at it. Okay. No! We even had them try to move Way. the case. Oh, this is better. Oh, much better. This, this is not bad. That's crazy! And they said that they did not have superhuman strength. How did they do it? Those are just two 
Ladies on editing staff, not actors. Leslie Ware, editor at large. Are you just saying that because what was your Leslie? Something is so small that anybody would be an editor at large next door. I would recommend this product because it allows you to safely lift large items that you normally wouldn't be able to lift. That's that's pretty damn convincing. You know what? I am going to go out and buy me a forearm forklift, and I am going to lift my house. I'm going to lift my entire house, and I'm going to move it out of Brighton, and I'm just going to bring it somewhere else. Because with the forearm forklift, if you had enough forearm forklifts, and you put it under my house, and you got enough people there, you could just lift the whole thing. You don't need superhuman strength. You need someone better than Leasley, though, because she give up after two seconds. Pussy ass bitch. <laughs> it's so unnecessary. I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> My name's Anthony Sullivan. Oh. Here's another great invention for around the house. One of the it's classic the heroes. Tap and you've got light. Tap light conveniently sits all mouth anywhere. You can. I'm, I'm sorry, Andrew. Um, you seem to have a serious case of 1990 going on, and I can't hear or see anything that you're doing. So last time we had the bowl light. You know, when people wanted to go to the bathroom, and uh, I don't poo unless it's blue. I don't do the stink unless it's pink. Well, this time, Anthony Sullivan, I called you Andrew before, but you know what, Anthony? Shit happens, you know, science is tricky. So, this time he's got the tap light. As in, you tap it? All mount tap lights as well, for places where you need just a little extra illumination, but don't have a light fixture, like this closet. Tap light gives you the right light where and when you want it, and use it to illuminate a dark stairwell, or provide light for an outdoor party Wait, or this is it? Tap light can even replace a broken interior light in a car, and is This is just- this is ordinary, I can't even hear him! He's, it sounds like he's talking through a bumblebee. Where are my elves? Where the fuck did they go? Oh, of course they're hiding. Oh, of course they're hiding. What is wrong with you people? This is the funniest home videos. This isn't funny. This is just ordinary. This is just an actual good product. You put it on your wall. Oh, you push it, it turns on. Cool. That's very funny. You guys are useless. Hi, it's Vince with Crank Chop. The whole fucking Vince is back! Everybody, give it up for Vince, our hero! Okay, Vince, have you have you slowed down a small bit? Have you stopped taking the cocaine? Are you okay now? Well, that's a face that says otherwise, but give me give me an offer, Vince. Give me an offer I can't refuse. Lates are at the bottom. Food goes in. Peppers, onion, ham. Close the lid. Pull the crank. One, two, three no seconds, and you're fucking done. For a way. perfect omelet every time. Cabbage. One, two. Coleslaw. Add radishes, carrots, kale. The more you crank, the finer it gets. Look at that. Vince! Vince, come on! First you tell me that we're going to make America skinny again with one slap at a time. Now you're telling me that I'm gonna to have to crank that soldier boy? I want one of those that every time you crank it, it just goes, YO! It's, it looks like you're trying to start up a lawnmower there, Vince. It also looks like you're eating what come out of a lawnmower. <laughs> oh, first Jack disses the butter, then he disses the bacon. Now Jack is dissing the nice healthy vegetables and all that shit that's in the- You know what, it's just jokes! I'm down. Okay, I'm just trying to be the funny man. I'm trying to make the, trying to make the jokes. I'm trying to make everybody help! This two hundred dollar food processor is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's like too bulky. Where the heck are you ever gonna put it? Vince, this no, thing? no, Vince, Vince, for the love of God! <laughs> this man is out of control. First he just One beating the shit out of food with a slap job, just slapping the, right, the shit out of his kitchen, and now he's throwing food two hundred dollar food processors out the window. Vince, you need to be stopped. Do you really have the time? Put tomatoes, onions, cilantro, a few cranks, and you'll have the best homemade salsa. Think The best homemade salsa. Yum. Add carrots, feta cheese, cranberries, a few pulls. Look at that. You're going to eat more salads and lose all that weight you wanted to. Vince, that is highly assumptuous. Okay. How dare you? All right, last time you said we're gonna make it skinny one slap at a time. Well, you know what? I've been slapping myself every day since I woke up. Ever since I saw that video, I've been slapping myself every morning. Have I lost any of the weight? No. Maybe it's because I keep eating pizza and Taco Bell. But whatever, Vince, you told me I was gonna get skinny. Now you're telling me all I have to do is crank it? And you're still calling me fat? Oh, me so hungry. Oh, Vince, no! Vince! For the love of God, when was this made? 2015? <laughs> oh, me so hungry. Vince, for the love of God, man. Bananas for baby food for a healthy, beautiful baby. Even ice for great margaritas and the senioritas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, this man could sell you anything. He'd sell fire to a 
person dying on the sun. And you'll chop everything from celery to garlic to tomatoes. For there it is. I was waiting sauces. for him to say you garlic. Oh, wow. That's amazing. This is so easy. I love it. And I have a broken hand. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I was like, nah, they're too ordinary this time. There's always somebody in the middle of these real people who are telling us how the product works, and they're all some of them are just so bizarre and wacky, and this time I was like, that's too normal. And then you you cranked it out of the park, Vince. I'm a plumber, I need to get out of the house quick in the morning. Dude, is that an issue plumbers have often? Is that they need to get out of the house fast and that this is actually gonna help them? Vince Offer, helping people get out of their houses faster. One crank at a time. But you'll also get the food topper. Place the food inside, twist, and you have eggs for great toppings on salads. Okay, hold on, Vince. That really seems like the fucking gyro grav twirly mans that you had last time. I can't remember what the name of it was. This is just the same thing in a different package. The blades are on the inside, unlike the metal grater. And we all know who makes this, right? What? We all know who makes this? I don't know who makes metal graters. Also, why was the bandage on the grater? Shouldn't the bandage be on your finger because you hurt yourself? I know it's symbolism. Shut the fuck up! Here's how to order. Call one in. Here's how to order! Wait, is the number right this time? 800 Okay, you got the number right this time, Vince. Last time you told me a number that was completely different. I wanna know what Vince is up to these days. Vince is the ShamWow guy, right? I know ShamWow. Um, but I didn't put it together that that was actually him. Oh god, what happened? Vince. Oh no, Vince. Legal issues, Vince! The underground comedy movie that was subject of several lawsuits filed by Offer against others. In September 1998, Vince Offer filed a suit against 20th Century Fox and Bobby and Peter Farley, the co-directors of There's Something About Mary. He claimed that f 14 scenes in Mary were lifted from his film? The Farleys released this statement. We've never heard of him. <laughs> We've never heard of his movie. And it's all a bunch of baloney. Well, you can't say baloney to Vince, because he'll just slap the shit out of it, or he'll, he'll chop it up, or he'll throw it out a fucking window. In 2000, Offer successfully sued Anna Nicole Smith for four million dollars, claiming that Smith had agreed to be in his movie, but backed out in 1996 over fears that appearing in the movie would be detrimental to her career. Offer won the lawsuit, but the case was settled anyway. What the fuck? On February 7th, my birthday! When I was 19 at this time, Offer was arrested in Miami Beach, Florida on a charge of felony battery after an altercation with a 26-year-old sex worker. Offer contended that he struck the prostitute when she bit his tongue and would not let go. Prosecutors later declined to file formal charges against either person. Vince! You were the chosen one! You were my hero! And now you had- you were with a prostitute and she bit your tongue so you beat the shit out of her? Did everybody make slap chop jokes when this happened? How did I miss this? 2009? Oh, I, I barely had the internet when I was 19. He beat up a prostitute because she bit his tongue? What the fuck, Vince? This is in 2009! You made this other video in 2015? He's still doing work after all of this? This man, he can sell you anything, even after getting arrested for beating up a lady. What the fuck is wrong? I just had my world shattered. I just had every illusion about Vince. I thought... I thought Vince Offer was gonna be my new dad. I thought Vince Offer was gonna be the best man that could sell you anything. Well, you know what, Vince? You can't sell me on yourself anymore. This is supposed to be Jacksepticeye's funniest home videos, and I've let you all down. I thought that I could just come here and give you the yuckles and the chuckles, but I can't. Apparently, <laughs> things get very sad. You know what? I'll make an apology video tomorrow. And the first line of it will be, I'm sorry that you felt something. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have a go. I'm gonna have a go. <laughs> I'm gonna go have a long, hard think about my life because now everything is up in the air. I just really have to go back and take a really long, hard look at myself and just wondering if I can even get the ah! to come back into my life. But you know what they say you live, laugh, and you lose some, and then Vince Offer gets his tongue bitten and beats up a prostitute. Good night, everybody!
Vince, man. God damn it.